Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. And today, we're gonna talk about a neat little thing that Bash has for reading files, all right? It's called map file. Map file is super useful. If you wanna learn more about it, you can use the help built-in. You can run help map file, and this gives you a little man page style output that shows you information about this built-in command. But if you don't feel like reading, because reading's for losers, uh, I'll show you some examples on how to use it, all right? So let's take a look at what we got here, all right? Let's look at our first script, while read. What does this do? Well, this takes data, from data.txt and reads it into an array. So this is not using map file. This is how you would do this iteratively, okay? So we create a new array here, it's empty. We read data.txt line by line, and then we push each line into the array. And then when we're done, we print the array. We put a less than and greater than sign in front of the line so we can kind of differentiate them better. But let's take a look, all right? So what do we have? We have data.txt. So this is three lines where the first line is, yo, what's up, everyone? Then my name's Dave and you suck at programming. All right, pretty simple. So then if we run the iterative example, what do we get? Well, we get exactly what we thought. We get the data in the array, we get the less than and greater than in front of it, and it works, and we have loaded up an array. The problem was, look how many lines it took to load up that array, all right? There's faster ways, and that's what made, uh, map files for. So let's look at the map file example. So in this one, oh, let's actually vim it, bam. <laughs> really simple. We run map file, then the name of the variable we want to store it into. So we're just calling it array, as you can see, because we're going to print it out here. Uh, and we just read in from data.txt. Super simple. So what happens when we run that? Well, it works. The problem is it leaves the new line on there. So if you're used to Perl, you might chomp it or whatever. Or if you're other languages, you might trim it or something. Well, we have that too here. So we can do map file trim. Map file has dash t. Really simple. This just trims it. So this script will put a dash T on it, and then when we rerun it, hey look, that's exactly what we want. There are some other th cool things you can do. So um, in this one, there is a dash N, and this is a limit. So this will say, at most, read two things from this file, which is a nice way of limiting. Say you have a file that might have you know thousands of records, you don't wanna read all those into memory. You can run this, and look, we only get the first two lines, so we've limited to the first two. And the final thing I wanna show you is really cool, is you can specify a callback function. This is wild. So map file, we trim it, dash capital C for the name of the function, and dash lowercase c for how many lines have to be read until we call the callback. I set it to one, meaning we'll get a callback for every single line that is read, and then we save it to foo and we print out foo down here. So this function will run for every line that map file encounters, and if we run it, it will look like that. So as you can see, we sort of have this diagnostic information. We could add some logging or do whatever we wanted to or process data that way. And then we have the final array here, which is super useful. So yeah, that's map file and bash.